Hello everyone, in today's video, I have an update for you guys. So, I have finally received a new PCIe riser. Now I have here, um, actually no, I, I, I put it away. But I, have, I had an older one, which actually wasn't working properly, was broken. So, this one is new, so we're going to check if it, if it has any um, damage to it. And make sure that's all right, that's my note done. And uh, yeah, here's my PC. It's currently mining at 160 watts, which is really good. I think it's mining um, using the miner called CC Miner. Anyways, so if this works, I'll be getting myself a 1050 Ti. And I'll get into um, why I'm getting a 1050 Ti a little bit later. Um, so I'll go ahead and open it and show you guys how I install it. And if it runs, I will later explain why I'm getting a 1050 Ti. So here are all of the components out of the box. Here is a PCIe, I'm not sure what it's called, dongle, whatever it's called. You plug it into the PCIe port. So that's what that looks like. And here we have the actual PCIe like board. This is where we're gonna be plugging in my GTX 980 and um, we're gonna see if it runs off of this. Here is a USB cable. It's longer than my previous one, but either way I have an extension just in case. And here we have a Molex to SATA cable. So this just converts, yeah, this just, you can power it using this, or you can plug this in and it adapts it to this type of, uh, this type of connector, power connector. Just focus on that. So, yeah, I'm gonna open up everything. I'm gonna open up my PC. I'm gonna stop mining, and we're going to see how this works. Okay, so here's my graphics card, and here are the new fans on it. Actually, I didn't get to show this to you guys, but now the video quality is much better because it wasn't. I'm filming this during the day, so if you look, nice and smooth, nice and smooth, no sounds, no nothing. This is perfect. Uh, these fans are absolutely great. Now, a few times I've noticed that um, my overclock, I mean more like undervolt and overclock, um, would mess up and my card would run at full power, which I don't want. But even at full power, the card would only take, it would only be at 70 degrees. Now, previously, the card would reach 90 degrees. So these fans have made a huge difference on the, you know, highest temperature that the card gets to. So really interesting. So here is the fully assembled uh, PCIe riser. All that I have to do is plug it into here. There we go. Nice and snug. Now I have to plug the card into this and then I will find something, you know, nice to put the card on um, and then I will have to power everything with maybe a second um, power supply. I have a second power supply, so I'll probably take that second power supply and connect both power supplies to one outlet and when I switch them, when I switch the outlet on, both power supplies will turn on at the same time and then the PC will not have any issues. Um, otherwise, if you start the graphics card up first and you, or you start up the PC first, you're just gonna have some issues. Nothing horrible is gonna happen, but you just wanna, you don't wanna have issues. So I'm gonna go get my second power supply. Um, this is an older power supply. I actually switched this and I had this switching process in a video um, where I was changing the um, fans as well but again it was dark at night and when I came back to review the footage it looked horrible so that's why I decided to not upload that video so sorry about that so now I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the second power supply and see if this works if this works and the monitor turns on then I am ready to purchase myself a 1050 Ti and again, I will explain why I'm getting a 1050 Ti later on in the video. Okay, 
this is a disclaimer. This is a horrible setup. Um, as you can see, I have wires everywhere. I have everything messed up. So if you're going to be test, I'm just testing this, you know, I'm just testing it. But if you know that it's going to work, then set it up properly, uh, properly and probably have it in the case somewhere. Um, zip tie it to the case at least, you know, uh, this is not a good idea. Sorry about the noise. Anyways, here is the second power supply. It's powering my GPU as well as the PCIe riser. And that's connected to my um, PC. My God, that looks horrible. Anyways, um, so this power supply is on, and it is. This is this is like a trick that you can use to make the power supply think that it's connected to a motherboard that is turned on when it isn't. Um, so the second that I turn on the power, this power supply is going to turn on and that's going to turn on the the GPU and also I have this power supply turned on which I'm going to double check and I also have the PC button you know pressed so the second I turn on the power everything's going to turn on and hopefully we will see something on the monitor and um, oh, actually I forgot I have like a I was going to show you guys the old power, uh, the old riser. Anyways, let's test this out. Uh, let's just double check. Oh, that one was turned off. Okay. Now we can test this. Okay, that one's turned off. Okay. And, whoops, wrong switch. <laughs> okay. Let's try and reach. And we've got nothing crap. Let's try this again. Okay. On. There we go. It's starting up. And it's I guess working. Let's just double check. Okay, I think it's detecting it. There we go. Okay, so my phone is only on 13%, so I have very little time to explain what happened. It's working, you know, after the black screen, it went into, and then it turned purple, and then it turned into, it said the time, and then it switched to, you know, logging in, and then you, you know what happens. And so, yeah, it, it works. Um, so my plan is to have the 980 in the first slot, and then the 1050 Ti in this slot, and I'll have it, sorry for the noise, and I'll have it hanging like over here. Of course, I'll make sure that it's nice and um, well supported. So yeah, that's it for, for this part of the video. Now I'm gonna go on to which 1050 Ti I'm getting and why and stuff like that, so yeah. Okay, so let's talk about why the 1050 Ti and yeah, just why. So the 1050 Ti, um, there are two reasons why I'm buying it. The first reason is because my 980 doesn't have a warranty any anymore. Um, it's, you know, the warranty has expired. This means that if my graphics card dies, if my 980 dies, well then I will be stuck with Intel HD graphics, which by the way can't run GTA 5, can't run basically most games. So that would mean that I wouldn't be able to make videos, which is you know, a pretty big, a pretty big bummer. So I don't want that to happen, which is why I'm going to buy the 1050 Ti, which is reason number one. Um, so if my 980 dies, I have a backup graphics card. Now this graphics card will also have a five-year warranty. There are two graphics cards, uh, two sellers, which were both selling this card um, this, for the same price, but this one has a five-year manufacturer's warranty and this one has a three-year local supplier warranty. Now this means that if the supplier goes bankrupt, if um, anything goes wrong with the supplier, if their shop cl closes, well then forget about this warranty. Then, you know, well actually no, there will be just some complications. With this one, I think there will be less complications if, if uh, the shop closes down or anything. So that's reason number one, it's a backup plan. And reason number two is because I'm going to be doing mining. And this card is great for mining. Why? Because this graphics card is very cheap. 
it's only 169 US dollars and every month I would be making around 20 US dollars minimum and that's the lowest I've seen so this means within 10 months I would get back my entire you know all that I've spent on this card and this card would basically be free for me I wouldn't have spent you know a single cent actually I would have earned uh, $25 by then actually in that case it's around nine months um, and so that's why I'm purchasing this card uh, also it runs very cool not sure about how loud it's gonna be because it only has one fan uh, the cheaper version has one fan you know the more expensive ones have two fans that means it'll run a little bit hotter a little bit louder but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter to me because mining is loud mining is just generally quite quite loud so and there are also a few tricks I can do to make it quieter I can uh, lower the power usage and I can also overclock it um, while lowering the power usage which I have done with my 980 and it runs at around uh, 60 degrees instead of 80 so there's a huge difference if you do what I do and um, properly set up the card for mining uh, great um, snooze. so that's why I'm choosing this card and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video I will be definitely updating you guys once I receive the card also as you can tell it has no PCIe um, power connector this means that I can power it directly off of the PCIe riser which you know you saw just now in the video so I don't have to actually plug it in like I did with my 980 so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I'll be updating you guys once I receive the graphics card and we'll be taking a look at how it runs. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.